Hello, in this tutorial we're going to talk about the blank size. The blank is this black border right here. The blank is very important because this is the area in which you will do all of your work. So it's important to make sure that you have the correct blank size to fit whatever type of work that you're doing. When you first open the program, it defaults to a blank size of 40 inch and a film length of 288 inches long. So as you can see right here, here's 40, there's your blank size right there. And then it defaults to guidelines of 38 inches, 34 inches, 22 and 18. And these are the guidelines for fitting certain patterns within the roll width that you have. In other words, if you've got a 40 inch roll in there and you want the patterns to fit in between the pinch rollers on the roll, you're going to need to have the patterns either below or close to this 38 inch height. If you have a 36 inch roll in there, you can go in here and you can change your blank size to 36 inch and you'll see that the maximum width is the 34 inch to fit in between the pinch rollers. I mean it can be a little bit higher than that but you're going to have to make sure that you have enough room between the pinch rollers on your plotter to make sure that it'll fit within that. So we're going to go back to the default size of 40 inch and we're going to minim minimize this window and we pulled up a 21 to 23 Hyundai Elantra 4-door. If you'll notice, it's not in the drop-down list right here because we had worked with them recently. So we just went up to recent and we pulled up the Hyundai uh, Elantra. So let's say I'm going to cut these four win these windows right here. So I just click and drag a box through them and hit the cut button. It pulls them into the blank size and that that's probably going to fit okay so all you should have to do is just hit cut and you've now cut these four windows. Let's say you've got a 36 inch roll in here you can automatically change this to 36 by just going here and click there and it'll change it to 36 inch and then you'll have to move these around a little bit so that they fit because this would probably get the bottom of it cut off right here. So you might want to move this window down just a little bit so that uh, this window can fit in there. Probably somewhere around there and in there and then hit cut. It should fit for you. So, but it's very important to make sure that you have the correct blank size in here to get everything to fit. If I change this to 24, it's going to rearrange these to fit on a 24 inch inch roll. I'll zoom out here. There's a couple of ways in which you can zoom out. You can click here and it'll zoom out or you can hit Control A on your keyboard, which is select all and then hit your F7 button on your keyboard and it'll zoom out to show you all of the of the patterns in here. So, but if you've got too small of a blank size to fit the size of the image you have in there, we'll go ahead and close this out. And let's say you're going to try and cut this, this windshield, which is much larger than 24 inches. We're going to get an error message. So we'll hit cut and it says to nest all objects, edit the blank size. So what it's saying is it's not going to fit within this blank area here. So you need to change the roll width. So we'll click OK and then go back up here and change that to 40 inch and it will fit in there. So it's important to make sure that you have the correct blank size to fit whatever you're cutting. Now let's say you want to cut a number of patterns for a number of different cars. So let's just go ahead and close this out and let's say we want to do the windshield again in the cut window here all you have to do is just click and drag and select parts of the patterns and then hit cut 
and it pulls it into the blank size for a 40 inch but let's say you want to pull in another car well your film length is not going to be long enough to fill fit another car so you'll need to change this and just to make sure that it's going to fit I'm just going to go ahead and change this to 4,000 inches pulls them into the cut window and then I'll minimize this and let's say we're going to do this Land Rover Defender here and uh, we'll just quickly pull it up here and then we'll just say we're going to do these windows here select those and hit cut okay and you can't see them but you zoom out and they fall in right behind the the windows there so again it's a matter of making sure that you have the correct blank size to fit all of the patterns that you want to fit in there now in the case of paint protection patterns you're going to have to be a little bit more careful about your blank size so you probably want to work with the widest blank size you can so you can go in here and go to file and then cut window and then change this blank size to 72 inch or you can create your own one custom blank size which we did right here which if you want to create a custom one you go over here to layout and then blank size and then in custom here and then just put in whatever size you want in here in our case we put in 95 inches and it will create the custom blank size for you so we can go in here and make this 95 and as you can see it really zooms it out for you and then if you want to these to be laid out this one first and then this one right next to it and then not have it optimized you can just select this one and hit cut and it'll pull it in here and then just minimize this and then select the bumper here okay now when I selected it all I had to do is just click and drag through the parts but if you see these parts showing up light here this means that this pattern is grouped so that it will all work as one piece but with the older patterns that we migrated over from the old computer cut pro site the pieces in here we could not get them to remain grouped so when you select this pattern they will not show up as a light spot there so you just need to make sure that when you select the pattern that you click and drag through all of the parts of that particular bumper or hood or whatever you're going to do and uh, make sure that all those parts are selected so but in this case this is a new pattern that we put in here and as you can see these are grouped together so I'll hit cut and it pulls it in right next to the hood that we have here now once you get it in here you can optimize it if you want uh, by either selecting a smaller roll width let's see what happens with 72 yep see how it optimized it and then you can even optimize it further if you want we'll look we'll hit control a and it'll select all and it's showing 172 inches in length and 72 inches in height uh, not very many people have a uh, 72 inch plotter so let's go ahead and shorten it down let's say we got a 60 inch okay and again I'm going to hit control a and it's selected it all and as you can see it's 233 now I can go in here and see if I can even optimize it even more and click on optimize and then click apply and it optimized it even further to 71 so again you kind of have to play around with it to get it to fit for your specific needs so there's a quick tutorial about the 
Blank size, just a little bit of a recap. This black area here is the area in which you will do all of your work. It defaults to a 40 inch width and a length of 288 inches. So if you have anything that's larger than 40 inches or longer than 288 inches, you're going to have to adjust it to get it to fit within that blank size. And then also, if you want, you can create custom blank sizes. You can change this by going over to layout and blank size and put in a custom blank size of let's say 115 inches and click OK. And again, that'll show up as a custom blank size in here. So if you're dealing with a large amount of patterns, you might want to create a custom blank size so that all the patterns will fit within the blank. If you have any questions, please call our technical support line at 800-348-3193 or International 561 six eight nine two nine two zero